A lot of fun. From the gridiron to the tennis courts, sectionals are underway. Let's head on over to Heron, where Kendra Sheehan gets us all caught up on today's action and gets us ready for the weekend. It's time to crown your high school girls tennis sectional champions from the sectional over in Heron. After today, we'll be left with a final four for both singles and doubles. Let's get right into the action. After some tough matches in the singles division, Marion's Margot Bruce will play Heron's Jalen Blake and Benton's Taylor Moore will take on Carbondale's Skylar Moore in the semifinals tomorrow morning. It was definitely a goal. Um, I worked really hard coming from my sophomore year and I placed fourth last year and I'm really striving to beat that. I've been waiting for this day for like four years. I just wanted to be able to play at, uh, sectionals and then qualify for state and I finally did it. For me this has been my goal this whole season. It's been what I've been working for so I just gotta keep telling yourself you can do it and then just keep yourself going. Over in the doubles competition, Heron will be well represented. Their pair taking on Carbondale's top seed and Benton's pair will face off against Carmi Whites in the semis. Me and Jesse were both really, really positive. Um, we both really, really want to make a state and it's my senior year and unfortunately there is no state, but I think just staying positive throughout this whole thing, um, running for every ball that we can and just kind of moving past the mistakes we've made to look forward to the next points, that's what got us through. It's really exciting. It's a great accomplishment for both of us. We both are super excited. We've been working super hard for it and we can't wait. We're going to have to be really aggressive and just give it our all tomorrow playing the top four teams. Be sure to tune in after college football tomorrow. We will bring you your girls high school tennis sectional champions, both singles and doubles. Reporting in Heron, Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports.